Good morning dear friends and greetings to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a joy for me to be with you this morning as we meditate uh, on God's word very briefly in just a few minutes. And I hope all of you have had a wonderful weekend. and that you have enjoyed the fellowship of the saints today our meditation is titled keeping life pure based on psalm number 119 verses 9 to 16 and i'd like to read that passage for your benefit So this is what this passage says. How can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let my let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you O Lord teach me your decrees with my lips i recount all the laws that come from your mouth i rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches i meditate on your precepts and consider your ways I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Based on this passage, I like to uh tell you how you can keep yourself pure. You know, we sing a chorus in our prayer meetings and in our churches. Open my eyes, O Lord. I want to see Jesus. It is a prayer. We sing many songs and choruses which express a very deep longing in our hearts to be like Jesus. Many times these prayers in songs remain only as a tune for us to hum or uh, just to sing in prayer meetings etc but we do not mean what we sing but the time has come for all of us who claim to be followers of Jesus Christ or believers in Jesus Christ to come out of our hypocrisy and truly mean and want God the holy spirit to make these prayers to come a reality in our personal life let us live our lives in holiness to see jesus and be like jesus for this is god's greatest desire for you and for me and if he, he will not desire anything like this for us unless or if it is not possible but apparently by god's grace it is possible it all depends on our desire to be holy and to be like jesus today's verse says How can a young man keep his ways pure? That's a question. And the answer is given in the next sentence which says by keeping or living according to your word. According to your word. God has given us his word in our hand that from this book the by which we call Bible the word may get into our hearts 
and into our minds and into our soul. That is why the book is given to us. So the word should not remain only in the book. It has to become a living part of our entire being. And so, the words say, by living according to your word. Now, what does his word say? That we may know what is required of us to do. And the answers are given in the next seven verses. And so let us discover the answers and begin applying these six-fold answers in our daily Christian life. And it is very, very important in our daily practical life, apply these answers. We call it the diet that works. This is the diet for a healthy spiritual growth and leads us into purity and holiness of life. Number one, seek the Lord in a regular basis. Verse 10. Verse 10 says, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your command, O Lord. And now that doesn't mean that we have lost Jesus or God somewhere and now we have to look for him and find him. But this verse actually means seek his face, seek his favor, seek his presence through repentance and humility. Get rid of any sin. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 says, Therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross. Now what is the joy that was set before him? That he should suffer the shame of the cross and all that. It is the church. It is you and me. Believing in Jesus, we are changed and transformed. And, uh, and cleansed and we become new creation to be his bride. So that was the glory, that was the blessing that he looked forward. And so it says, get rid of sin. Sin, what is sin? Sin is anything that blocks the presence of God in your personal life. Whatever it may be. You, you lose the presence of God and you don't feel his presence and you will know exactly what is causing that loss. And uh, get rid of it. Pursue him daily. That's what the scripture says. Number two, treasure his truth in your heart. Verse 11. Verse 11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against. My friends, I am not telling you some stories for, to make you happy and laugh. I am telling you something very serious. You as a follower of Jesus Christ, you want to experience greater blessings of God in your life. And how you can have a vision of God. God and a proper understanding of who this God is. 
And these are the things you need to apply in your Treasure his truth in your heart. Verse 11. Commit verses in your memory. And store up these verses in your mind that is transformed and cleansed from all the other dirty things. Your mind must be transformed. And number three, openly tell others of him. Verse 13, which says, With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. Our mouth is to be clean in order to declare and recount the, the, the things of a holy God. And openly tell others, open your mouth. Something wonderful always happens when you and I open our mouth to declare the greatness of God and tell them our experience, how Jesus Christ has changed our lives and cleansed us and made us new creation. When you openly tell this someone, something always happened marvelously, which may surprise you, yourself. And fourthly, rejoice and delight in God's workings. Verses 14 and 16. Read it for yourself. You know, when you think of this uh, God more and more, and uh, the more His word is taken inside of you, God Himself will become a reality in your life. He himself comes and stays there. And let your light and delight shine forth. And fifthly, spend more time meditating on his principles. Verse 15, he says, I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. We are talking about how to keep a young man pure, his way is pure. And there is no shortcut, my friends. And these are the things the Bible instructs us to apply in our personal life. So spend more time in meditating God's laws and God's word. As these were a delight to David, and he rejoiced and he enjoyed and uh, there is nothing uh, more enjoyable for him than meditating on God's word. And lastly and sixthly, give God your full respect. Again, read verses 15 and 16. And that is important. Now, if you apply these six principles, given in this uh, 119th Psalm, verses 9 to uh, 16, and apply them, you will be a changed person. You will experience the power of God working in you and through you, that others may be blessed. So here is the way, how you can live a holy life. This is it. The word of God not only cleanses us, it leads us to holiness. Without holiness, no one can see God. So live your life so that you will see God and live with him forever. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will work in you and make the Word of God something enjoyable and real and which shall be your delight. And as you apply the Word of God in your daily life and in, put them into action, you will experience the mighty power of the risen Lord administered to you 
by the Holy Spirit. This is God's plan and will for you, my friend. You will be a changed man. God bless you as you do so by the grace of God. This is a wonderful day. Live for Him and glorify Him in all your actions and words and works. Delight yourself in the Lord and have a good day. Amen.